Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some God Eater. About to start up some more missions. I'm gonna head to this distress signal. Um, hopefully, it's not these cannibal, the cannibalistic uh, port town, because <clears throat> that'd be kind of mess up to walk up on. Um, we're gonna find out though what happens. <clears throat> Routes are paths charted. Yeah, yeah. Gap is required to learn personal abilities. Uh, I got you there. I do want to apologize, um, but my like the Etrian videos, they they will be coming. There's, there's more on the way. Do not worry. Just, uh, a lot of things going on at the moment. Take some quick chops. Um, I want this. And let's keep going. A life sign detected. Oh no. So we're gonna run into these crazy ages? What's gonna happen? I'm curious. These things apparently are like, like cannibalistic and whatnot. I don't know what's gonna happen here. I'm about to find out. Is this the place? Yes. Any visual? There! Claire, wait! Oh no! Oh! Damn, I managed to get her. An age is on it, and an experienced one at that. Just stay back and provide support. Alright, let's go. Damn. Is this some damn circus? Gotcha. Activate. Activate? What is she doing? Oh god. What's with this weirdo? She she looks hot as hell though. What is that power? Jesus, and here I come. Oh, Son of a wow, she she wrecked us. This chick is. Oh no. Throw down your god arcs now. Crap. Damn. What do you want? 
Let me speak with your commander. Ma'am, this is a video of their battle. An acceleration trigger. They've already got a practical model. Establishing a communications link with Hugo. Hilda, I'm putting our attacker on. She wants to talk. Go ahead. I am a Baron Age. Codename Lulu. I was left stranded here by my vessel during a mission, and I am requesting transport back to Baron. You gave us a rather rough greeting, don't you think? I understand. I apologize for the incident. However, I intend you no harm. I'm not gonna do <laughs> that one. You should know, I held myself back. It's the only method we're taught. First, I'll make contact with Baron to confirm your identity. It may take a little time to do that. I assume you can wait while I do? That's fine. Damn, so they are ruthless. She's like, it's the only way that they're taught. We have a response from Baron. According to their message, they say they have no record of an age named Lulu on their files. So, who is she then? <sighs> Amy, what's the ash density in this area? Checking. Um, 0 0.008 ppm. That will give us about 10 minutes. Open the hatch. I'll talk with her directly. 10 minutes for what? Understood. Opening the... Wait, what? Hatch. Wait, what? Why was she coming out to talk to this crazy lady? Hey, what the hell are you doing? He is a member of my crew. Could you do me a favor and let him go for me? I... I already told you, you're taking me to Baron. There doesn't seem to be an age named Lulu. Huh? I've searched every record we have, and contacted Baron as well. But everywhere I check, I get the same result. No person named Lulu exists. That... No, that can't be right. I mean... I was just on a mission. Is she like a failed experiment, maybe? I'm sorry, but you're... I see. So, what the heck's going on? I... I've been cast aside. So they were throwing her away. She's like a failed uh, ages for them. Where would she be at? Medical area, maybe? <coughs> the residential. Lulu Baron. Lulu Baron. I'm impressed that anyone could hold their own against you. She had a trick up her sleeve. Keith noticed it. She's got something really crazy in that god arc of hers. If things don't go right, it could destroy the body of its owner. Everyone treats Aegis like disposable objects. I won't stand for that. I'll put an end to it. messed up i mean like aegis could be such a, a useful like an, an asset to this to this fight to this everything and it's like we're treated just like grunts lulu's god arc it's ridiculous 
No one should be using something like that. It increases her already superhuman ability, but places a massive burden on her body. And it's completely irre irreversible. It's like it was designed to destroy people. I hope those Baron guys are proud of themselves inventing something like that. I don't suppose there's any way I could analyze and at least mitigate the body's reaction. I can't stop thinking about Lulu. Given the state of the world today, it has to be hard living as a female age. She must be one tough customer. Lulu. Okay, next mission. Alright. So we just press on. We got this new god uh got Aegis God Eater from um from Baron. Oh we got two different places to go to. Practice makes perfect. Well now you never got a chance to use a residence radar back in prison, so it's worth your time to practice with it in live combat against an origami. Don't worry, I got permission from the owner for this. A resonance radar. Yeah, I guess I should practice whatever this is. Let's see what he's talking about. Broke his torso. Nice. I want to break his tail. There you go.
Come on. Oh, you bastard. Just keep laying him out. Keep laying him out. Ow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just fall. Yes. All right. Kong goes down. I, I, he didn't teach me how to do the thing, but if he managed to kill a Congo, I guess. How long have I been going for? Oh, it was only 15 minutes. Okay. I want to try and make these like... 30 to an hour videos around there. Uh, but yeah. So that's done with. Got triple S for that as well. I'm glad. That's so nice of her. She really enjoyed our fight. <laughs> Change in route. Um, can we craft anything interesting, weapon-wise? Nope. This would be. Tailblade would be the next one I think that I want. Maybe? I don't know. These are slashing ability weapons. Um, slashing. Crush. The Congo Club. Part of me wants to try and Buster Blade out. But I'm just not a fan of the heavy stuff. Really, it just is like. Mm, piercing. Pendulum. Let's try. Let's try. Go back to dual blades. We'll see how that fares me. Keyword is try because I don't know if I'm going to like. Because I, I like diverting from the norm as far as the equipment goes. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I can um, I can combine the dual blades into like one straight up like blade of wind. Ow.
Broke that tail. Broke that tailbone. Get him. 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 Oh, God. I'm tired. I'm tired. We broke his head, too. In the face, in the face, ah! It hurt, but it was worth it. In the face, in the face. Oh, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. Break, break out of that, hurry up. Get him, get him, get him. There you go, that massive amount of damage. Though. What's up, Ghost Slayer? How you doing, man? Never needed your support, but it's nice to have it. <laughs> Alligator man didn't stand a chance. Just chomping out. I just started the game like yesterday, so not really anything great as far as rank goes. Just trying to get through the story at the moment. Lulu, what's she up to? Spying on us? If there are no objections from any of you, I'd like for her to join our crew. Are you sure it's safe to have her? I mean, I'm fine with it, but... She doesn't have any place to go home to now, does she? I say go for it. She's strong and effective in combat. For an age, there's nothing more important than that. Hey, hey, I want a chance to analyze that acceleration trigger. I agree with Madame Hilda, though I guess that's nothing new. And you kiss up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Now all that remains is to see what her will is on this matter. Hmm. Her will, huh? It seems pretty messed up to drop that kind of choice on an age with her strict training. Right? Whoa! You're way too serious. I'm with our friend here. No matter what the situation you find yourself in, your future is your own choice. Oh, I see. That actually does make sense. That's what freedom really is, isn't it? Then I'm free. Yeah, you are. Free to do whatever you want. My will uh not not quite yet i like to kind of get through the story at the very least on my own um afterwards i'd be happy to take on some help with some missions and whatnot i have nothing to offer just fight fight with us that's all that what matters the said it's up to you to decide on your own path in life now. If you've come here, then you've already made a choice, haven't you? Hmm. Is it all right if I stay with you? <laughs> Heck yeah! I'm not gonna let a chance like this slide. That acceleration trigger you have? Let me give it a try. <laughs> huh? Well, it's... Not finished. Experimental. Then we will assist you in completing it. Let's say you contribute your skills and tech in exchange for a warm bed. Does that sound like an acceptable deal? Are you sure? 
Come on, just just join us. Stop beating around the bush. Okay, then let's get the party going. We're gonna play cards all night. How's your poker game? Um, okay. I know the rules. <laughs> the party is on. Yeah. Sorry, friend, but I'm going to bow out of this one. I just can't wait to take a peek at that acceleration trigger. Seriously, you're always such a wet blanket. Get with the program, will you? After you, friend. After you. Huh? Well, everyone else is obligated. Got it? That guy calls him friend, but he's like <laughs> his brother. To. <laughs> It'll be a nice change of pace. <laughs> that was a weird, creepy looking smile, but okay. We got a badass new uh, Aegis with us. <laughs> okay. Um, Lulu's amazing. See what he found out about the acceleration. We finally did it, Zeke. Acceleration trigger analysis is complete. Man, that was quick. Did you stay up all night? It's the thing Lulu was using, right? What the hell is it anyway? I'm so glad you asked. Simply put, an acceleration trigger initiates a process. Oracle potential energy is drawn forth from the oracle cells within a God Arc user's body when certain stresses are applied to the cells. Then transferred to a booster within their armlet which then amplifies the effect of the energy instantly boosting the user's capabilities by creating a god arc wielder feedback loop resulting in an oracle cell subjective stimulation system he he, he just said a bunch of big words and i'm just like okay it'll unlock the energy in your oracle cells for an extra boost of power when you do certain things during combat wow those folks in baron are working on some remarkable stuff so, these oracle cells we have in us are real scary, huh? Yeah, I'd say they qualify as real scary. If you overactivate them, they'll eat your body from the inside after Jesus. All. Do you have to look so happy about it? Well, you don't have to worry as long as you don't pull anything funny. The one Lulu brought in was improperly calibrated, which is dangerous. But never fear. I'll make sure the ones on your god arcs are up to spec. Huh? But you just finished analyzing them. You gonna install them already? I mean, I know I said I wanted one. You know, he don't want his body to be eaten up to shreds. The more weapons you have at your disposal, the longer you can survive. Right, friend? Uh... Pretty impressive. It's a gamble. I don't know about this, man. I've made sure to install the safest, simplest version so you can try it out the next time you're in okay. a fight. There's already a mission set up and everything. No glitches, right? I'm, I don't know. I'm a little scared of some new tech here, but... I'll trust him. Um, I honestly, too, I look too much like, uh... I look way too much... Oh, these are the acceleration triggers. I look too much like the standard character, and I don't like that. So, you know, we're going to have blue hair. You know, let's have brown. Mm, I don't know. No, you know what? We're going with blue. No, yeah, we're going with brown. Brown works. Mm, no, I hate it now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm indecisive with with this type of stuff. Um, let's go with. Let's just stick with black. Black. Black's fine. Okay, um, we'll be back. <laughs>